The House plan will expand choice, lower costs, and ensure health care access for all. We're negotiating with everybody. It's a big, fat, beautiful negotiation. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the president at his first cabinet meeting yesterday, joining us now, member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, Democratic Congressman Tom Swasey of New York, and from Boston, member of the Energy and Commerce Committee, Democratic Congressman Joe Kennedy of Massachusetts. Uh, Tom, uh, what are you guys going to do? Uh, can you just watch this train wreck, or is there some impact Democrats can have on the health care legislation? Well, they're doing a lot of this on their own right now. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, watching what's unfolding amongst themselves is a pretty interesting uh, dance. Yeah. Uh, so we, ha we have to let them do what they're doing. We have to continue to point out that 24 million people are going to be kicked off, that their premiums are going to go up, that there's a transfer of t cutting the taxes on the wealthiest Americans and raising premiums on senior citizens and others. I think the shame here, Casey Hunt, is there could be a bipartisan effort to make Obamacare better. It certainly needs to be improved, and we all agree on that. But instead, we've got this kind of major damage happening on Capitol Hill and in the White House. Yeah, I mean, there's, I don't think there's a, any sense that Obamacare is a perfect bill, which Democrats no. will admit behind the scenes but are unable to say in public. But uh, I'm curious for you, as you all are having behind the scenes kind of closed-door conversations with the former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, is there any kind of, uh, I don't want to call it glee, but kind of waiting for Republicans to make the same mistake in overreaching that some would argue Democrats made back in 2009? Yeah, there's certainly no glee because this has a real impact on people's lives. I campaigned on a message of mend it, don't end it. Uh, and I am actually came to Washington to try and work across party lines. I'm on a thing called the Problem Solvers Caucus. I'm the vice chair of the Problem Solvers Caucus. 20 Democrats and 20 Republicans. Let's try and work together to find consensus. This president and this health care bill makes that very difficult to do. Uh, All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Congressman Kennedy, what, what aspects of the Affordable Care Act do your constituents not like? Look, there's um, obviously here in Massachusetts, it's a bit of a unique uh, environment, right? We've got a 3.4% unemployment rate and a 2.8% uninsured rate. And we actually are the model of if you have a bipartisan consensus mm -hmm. to make this bill work right, you can do it and have it work really, really well. So, um, yes, we've had some challenges here in Massachusetts, particularly when it comes to small businesses and some of the costs on small businesses, which is an area that I would love to be able to work with my Republican colleagues on. However, there's nobody across Massachusetts that believes that the right way to reform our health care system is kicking 24 million people off their health care. And that's exactly what this bill does. And for those folks that can even might stay on their health care, the benefits that they're going to get for a lot of them aren't anywhere close to the level of the benefits that they can get today. This is a, the idea that this is a serious plan being put forth by anybody in Congress belies the fact that behind these CBO scores and behind PowerPoint presentations are people's lives and their families that are going to be devastated if this bill passes. All right, Gene Robinson, you have a question. Take it. Um, so what's the end game here? Because I, obviously this plan will never fly with Democrats. Uh, it, it doesn't look like it's going to fly with, uh, with moderate Republicans either. Uh, so what then happens? Is, is, is the Affordable Care Act just sort of allowed uh, to the extent it does to wither on the vine? Um, do, does it get fixed? Does it get upheld at some point? What, what happens? Gene, who's the question for, Tom or Joe? Um, uh, for Joe. Uh, look, I think yeah. I have been one of those, and, and with respect to, to uh, Cassie's comment earlier, I will be very public in saying, yes, the Affordable Care Act has done some great things for our country. Yes, there are undoubt undoubtedly aspects that need to be strengthened, and particularly in some of my Republican colleagues, their districts back home, it needs to be strengthened. It needs to be supported. Um, I have been waiting since I've come to Congress to try to find some sort of Republican colleagues to work with to actually strengthen that bill, and, and for a wide variety of reasons they've been unable to. Fine. But I would hope that as this process does go forward, Gene, that there's a recognition that, you know, in that hearing for 28 hours that I was in last week, while you heard story after story from my Republican colleagues saying how disastrous this was, there was also an intern in there for a lot of it from my office whose life was saved twice by the Affordable Care Act. She's 25 years old and got, has had cancer now twice. And because of the ACA, she is not only did she get the access to the treatment that she needed, but her, her family could afford it, she could get insurance, and she's covered now going forward. You cannot deny 
that this law has done some really good things to some people in need. And that, at its heart, is what healthcare is supposed to be all about. It's about how we treat each other in a time of need. And the idea that the answer to that question for some like Republican colleagues is stripping people from health care, saying you're on your own, giving them so-called choice to choose between paying their mortgage and paying their health insurance and their medication, and saying that that's good right. for our country is just mind-boggling. Tom Swazi, agree? A hundred percent. I mean, Joe's right on point. I mean, there are real people's lives that are affected. This is really a life and death thing. You know, we think about it, the politics of it all, the Republicans, the Democrats. These are people's lives we're talking about. And again, you know, I, I came to Washington, D.C. I'm a freshman congressman. I said, I want to work across party lines. I want to try and work together. Joe pointed out earlier how small businesses are affected, people that uh, see their premiums going through the roof. There are problems with Obamacare, but it's helped so many people. If we could get beyond, and it's not going to happen right now, you can see the environment, if we could get beyond the politics and talk to each other and figure out where we can find some common ground and actually make things better for people. I people wish the want president that. would uh, do something about that. Congressman Tom Suozzi and Joe Kennedy, thank you very much. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.